The unraveling of a long, winding, and weird custody battle. It's the story of a 24-year-old thought to be missing for decades, now found a grown, married man. How did police track him down after all these years, and what happened here? ABC's John Muller is on the story. Dan, this case was so cold, Indiana State Police had to reopen it when the stepfather turned over his son's Social Security card a few months ago. And it was that simple piece of information, a Social Security number, that led investigators to a 24-year-old whose name changed, but whose license picture looked a lot like the five-year-old boy who went missing. It's a lot for me to take in. 24-year-old Richard Landers Jr. just received a bombshell. Police say his grandparents, who reportedly raised him nearly all his life, actually abducted him when he was just five years old. Until I actually get to walk up and say hello to him again, I, I don't know that it's going to be real. His father, Richard Lander Sr., is shocked. His mother, Lisa Harder, was apparently jumping for joy when she heard her little boy, not so little anymore, was out there, alive and well, now married, and expecting a child of his own. Lander's incredible story started nearly two decades ago after his parents went through a bitter divorce, his mother reportedly living in a car. Police say his paternal grandparents, unhappy with the custody proceedings, took him from his home in Walcottville, Indiana, and brought him 675 miles away to Long Prairie, Minnesota. Police say all three changed their names but forgot Richard's social security number, and that's how police finally tracked him down. A young man living in the state of Minnesota actually was using the social security number. Doing further checking on who this person was, he had the same exact date of birth. Authorities trace the numbers to this property in Browerville, Minnesota, where Richard Landers Jr. was residing as Michael Jeff Landers. His grandparents also living on the property. Police say it appears there were no signs he was ever abused. Now, the grandparents were charged back in 1999 with interference with custody, but since so much time had passed, charges were eventually dropped. No word if any new charges will be filed. We did reach out to the grandparents for a comment. We did not receive one. Strange case indeed, guys.